Greetings from Table Rock State Park. I'm Ranger Scott. Today I want to draw your attention to something on these, this tree right here. Uh, there's some patterns some, of some holes in the bark here. And at first notice, it may appear to be some type of a beetle, pine beetle, or some other insect, but that's really not the case. Uh, these rows of holes, you can see they're very horizontal in their pattern. They're made by a bird in the woodpecker family. It's called the yellow-bellied sapsucker. And this bird puts these rows of holes in a tree. This one happens to be an eastern hemlock. I've seen it in pines. They can be in a tulip poplar, a sweet gum, or other trees as well. But the reason they do it is to make a well that oozes a little bit of sap. And they'll come back to that well and they'll feed off the sap and any insects that might be attracted to the uh, sap as well. Uh, another advantage in nature for another creature from these wells is the ruby-throated hummingbirds that come here in April. When they arrive, they may use some of these wells to feed on as well, so that a uh, sort of a dual purpose there. Now, when a sap sucker feeds, it does not suck the sap like its name seems to indicate. They lap it up just like a hummingbird does. They've got a long tongue and they don't suck the sap. They just use their tongue. So you might think of, think of them as a sap lapper instead of a sap sucker. But they're stuck with the name, so uh, that's what we have. But these birds are here only in the wintertime. Uh, they'll arrive in September or October, and they'll stay through the winter months, and they'll leave again in April back to their northern breeding grounds. Now, the yellow-bellied sapsucker is a little bit similar to the downy woodpecker in size, and they both have black and white on them. Uh, the things to look for to determine which is which is the downy woodpecker and the sapsucker have a red crown if it's a male, but the sapsucker male will have a red throat patch, and the downy does not have that. The downy woodpecker on his back has a, a white patch down the middle of its back. The sapsucker has a white stripe on its wing on the side of its body. So a couple things you can be looking for to, uh, to d differentiate between the two. So when you're outdoors this winter in a wooded area, uh, keep your eyes open. You might see one of these birds or you may hear them. Now, we heard them just a little bit ago, uh, a little bit in the distance there, but they're not real boisterous and they're easy to overlook. But this is what their call sounds like. Sort of reminds you of a cat's meow, but uh, not real loud. So they're easy, to, like I say, they're easy to overlook. Um, they're just kind of a quiet uh, in their activity. But hopefully you'll see one or hear one uh, between now and April. 